Today, I want to talk about how more short hedge funds are about to collapse, not just from AMC and GameStop, but also from other heavily shorted names as well. I also want to discuss the new 24 hour, seven day a week trading on AMC and GME on Robinhood. So stay tuned and let's make some money. And now I'll dive straight in with the key information. So, Wall Street Silver tweeted asking if the dominoes are starting to fall, referencing this article of a financial contagion warning as HSBC is told to brace for a catastrophic £6.3 billion hit. So Bob Lydon, the CEO of HSBC, fears losses in Hong Kong and China could blow a hole in the bank's equity. Now obviously HSBC was a big investor in property companies in China like Evergrande. Many of these companies have gone bankrupt and those loans and bonds they purchased are absolutely worthless. This means banks like HSBC have lost not just hundreds of millions, but billions. Especially with the shadow banking crisis currently happening in China, which has been majorly funded not just by UK banks and European banks, but US banks too. All of a sudden, these banks are going to be finding out they've not just lost millions of dollars, but billions, maybe even tens of billions, maybe even hundreds of billions. We've discussed for the last two or three years if this Chinese contagion could really kick off a banking disaster or extrapolate the current banking crisis. And maybe right now, even before the end of 2023, just that might happen. But let's also talk about this tweet from Frog2 talking about the wider market, but also talking about meme stocks and heavily shorted stocks. He said he can't express this enough. Memes go up and the floodgates open, forcing the market to sell off, and then CNBC will blame retail investors for the market sell off due to meme stocks. And he said meme stocks ripping and heavily shorted names ripping is the beginning of the end, in the short term at least. Obviously, when a market crash happens, it doesn't last for 10, 20, 50, or 100 years. A market crash is usually a fairly short one to five year period event that recovers fairly quickly. But obviously, that market crash in the first place is very large, very violent, and causes significant destruction, not just in the stock market, but to many people's lives as well. And Frog Tzu believes that memes ripping and heavily shorted names running as well is the start of what's to come. And that's effectively what we saw in January to June 2021 as well, when many of these stocks like AMC and GameStop are running, many of these hedge funds have to sell off their long positions to rebalance their portfolios. That effectively is what caused Arkegos to implode in the first place. Some of their long names where they were irresponsibly long ended up falling slightly, causing margin calls. But as I said, it's not just AMC and GameStop, it's also these heavily shorted names that are running and squeezing these short hedge funds and causing them significant stress. Since June of 2023, Coinbase has been trending upwards, especially over the last couple of weeks, it's been absolutely running. It recently broke that July 2023 high and also 2022 highs around $116. But as I said, it's not just Coinbase. For example, we've also got a firm, which again, since August, has been trending upwards too. And you can see a firm also had a breakout over those 2022 levels around this $27 region and has been pushing upwards still. Obviously, these names are heavily shorted and this massive explosion in volatility pushing the price upwards is causing these shorts to struggle. And therefore, many of these hedge funds that are currently shorting names like Affirm, Coinbase, Carvana, Upstart, AMC and GameStop will likely soon be collapsing. Especially because, as we've discussed in the Millionaire Mindset Trading Group, this rally in stocks like Coinbase and Affirm is likely to continue, with Affirm likely to continue pushing towards $41 per share. Funny enough, we actually had a swing trade on a firm ready for this breakout, and over the last couple of days, just locked in 115% gains. But NFD is also tweeted saying it appears we've got two new additions to the Robin Hood 24 hour trading program. You may have seen last night specifically, both AMC and GameStop were trading all the way through the night. They weren't just trading for a few hours in the aftermarket and a few hours again in the pre-market, they were trading 24 hours a day. 
And as NFD points out, these stocks are actually new additions to the 24 hour trading program. Neither GameStop or AMC had been trading 24 hours until yesterday. I also wanted to quickly talk about our fast moving momentum news play of the day, which today was VVOS or Vivos Therapeutics. This morning in the pre-market, I said that VVOS was coming up on a scanner and had set a nice pre-market high at $9.73. They had just received FDA approval and it also had great volume in the pre-market too. In the pre-market alone it ran to $13.90 for a 44% gain. Now the market has opened, it's continued running and has gone into multiple halts, currently up 64%. We also had a few options trades today as well with Thameth locking in a 22% gain on the S&P 500 and S to the P locking in another $980 on Nvidia. So guys be sure to join the Millionaire Mindset Trading Group linked in the description below. Edward Burchuk also tweeted saying AMC and GameStop are now trading 24-7 on Robinhood without any notification or announcement of legal approval. He said all of a sudden overnight the market kicks in and now they're massively green without anyone being able to trade it. Why is that? Maybe because Citadel are trying to bait you into 24-7 payment for order flow access so they can have constant access to your trades. As Boss Blunts pointed out, he said, yes, I'm aware Robinhood has enabled 24 hour trading. Where do these orders go? To Citadel Securities. Remember when you buy shares through Robinhood, Citadel Securities are paying for that order flow to process those orders in the dark pools. And obviously in the dark pools, purchase orders have near zero positive impact on the price of AMC and GameStop. So whereas some of you might have been super excited yesterday to try and sign up to Robinhood and deposit money to buy more shares of AMC and GameStop, remember any purchase through Robinhood goes to Citadel. As usual, Edward also came with his proof of the agreement between Robinhood and Citadel Securities. This Medium article says that Robinhood recently introduced its 24-hour trading feature, but most notably, Citadel Securities is their main market maker. And it says here during the 24 hour market, Robinhood Securities will route the order to a market center. RHS or Robinhood Securities uses a single 24 hour market maker. And they may execute orders it receives on a principal basis or route them for execution to a single alternative trading system, the 24H ATS. Literally telling you that Citadel Securities is routing your orders for an alternative trading system or dark pool. So before buying shares through Robinhood, remember to think twice because all of those orders are going directly to Citadel. Vaughan also tweeted saying, are they trying to convince me to sell AMC and buy into GameStop instead? He said, I hope GameStop does well for sure, but no way am I getting out of AMC. You may have seen the big run up yesterday and in the pre-market for GameStop and thought you were missing out by holding AMC. But this may be exactly what the shorts want you to think so you sell your AMC shares to buy something else instead. But as I've always said, while holding GameStop and AMC is great, also remember that when one of these stocks squeezes, the other stock will squeeze too. Whether AMC squeezes first and GameStop follows, or whether GameStop squeezes first and AMC follows, either way these stocks are in the same basket. This basket of meme stocks has consistently been spoken about for the last three years and has also been proven by that recent total return swap contract or total return swap screenshot on basket stocks. So whether you're holding AMC or GameStop, either way, when one stock squeezes, the whole basket squeezes. So guys, be sure to let me know what you think down in the comments below. And as always, guys, be sure to ding that notification bell, because that way you'll be alerted when I upload a new video. Cheers.